No, oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm in Perth. <laughs> Head of the Saturday rub. I've lost all sort of contact with the MCG. Can't we can see anyone. Jim. Can't hear anyone, but I'm telling you now, Taylor Adams is going to join us shortly. Superstar, of course, from Collingwood. Big game coming up at the MCG. Quiz, Nuff Nuff, News. Uh, I don't know who's there. I can see the beautiful host, Mary. I can't see anyone at the G. Purple, are you there? <laughs> yes, I am, Jim, and I can hear you, most importantly. And the crew is actually here for a little bit of time. One of us who oh. is in Melbourne, Jim, actually has to leave in about, I've been told, 58 minutes' time, and we'll I, have to get I that cannot, at some stage. I cannot no. believe this. Welcome no. to you. Welcome, Duck. Yes, uh, g'day Jim. Uh, good job last night. Uh, oh, geez, a good win, wasn't flat it? Flat game. Flat uh, game. Yeah, uh, was it flat, you reckon? Yep, flat game. Yeah, it uh, was. Yeah, Freo it was. did not come to play for me, and Melbourne were way too good. Uh, nice to see you, Fat. If I hear the Brayshaw name again, I'm going to spew up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of Angus. I'm sick of Andrew. I'm sick of Lisa Brayshaw. I'm sick of Mark as well. Mark Brayshaw. <laughs> Get to that in a minute. Bernard, Brayshaw, hello to you. Poo poo. Hello, Jim. I'll just cut him off. Uh, fresh off. Actually, last night, Jim, I was at the 97 98. Premiership reunion uh, for Adelaide. So, uh, interesting night. Duck's name came up a couple of times. Oh. And, <laughs> what else uh, it did? Yeah, well, it did. And he didn't play in 97, 98? No. Uh, 98 he played. Yeah. But he didn't win. But he was mentioned a few times. I interviewed a few people Who on stage, and they thought that. Uh, well, I, well, not for the crows. In the most, well, he contributed. They reckon. Oh, I like got <laughs> missing goals. Oh, <laughs> oh don't well, I, I should have been invited, to be honest. <laughs> you should no, have. Uh, Fighting words. at half time, yeah, and he got a few mentions. But uh, Blighty, I interviewed Blighty. Oh, at one, that was getting wrapped. No, up they already. had enough of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I interviewed Blighty, and yeah, what he, a man. he just took over. He yeah. was brilliant Did last he? night. Because Bernie think. said, "What should I have asked him?" I said. Just say, how good were you, Malcolm? <laughs> oh, how long did you go oh, for an hour? I, I had to pull him, go find him. He started walking around, and uh, he was very good. Uh, had Shane Ellen up, Sean Wren, Rue. Rue, what uh, did Rue say? Uh, well, Rue was uh, he was bringing <laughs> yeah, up yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to hold up, sign, do sign language when he was speaking. But, uh, no, nah, he was very good. Uh, mentioned you a little bit, Rue. Uh, he did, but uh, no, nah, it was good. 750 people. 750 people. Yeah, so 750. Players, more yeah. than they get at a game. <laughs> oh, come on. Come the, on, the Crows, yeah. they've got a massive match. Nah, good following. Just going Ma- too. Fat, where yeah, are you going, early. please? Like, this is actually, a, you're taking the piss. You're leaving early yeah. today. No. To go to a cashy in Launceston cashy? with John Rombotus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rombo. Right? Uh, Is that true? No, I've got to get back to Geelong. There's something happening. No, you don't. Because no. Joel's asked for me to be part of something no, special hasn't. before no, the game. No, he hasn't. Before no, he hasn't. Where, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? Joel's asked you to be involved. <laughs> no, look, oh. the funeral, so I can't say Bill, much about it. It's yeah, not a Bill, funeral, Bill. We're you are going. I don't want to talk about it. What are you doing in Tassie, Bill? What are you doing? He's having a drink at the moment, Jim. I'm um, <laughs> going over there with Rombo yep. <laughs> and a good friend of ours. Uh, not with us anymore, so we're just going to funeral. So we shouldn't. No, you're not. That's it's not a funeral. Completely we've, incorrect. we've checked don't, this out. It's not a funeral. That, so we don't talk about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, good what is friend. It? A good friend. <laughs> good friend. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's just something that's been in the book for a while now with Rombo, and it's a. Um, <laughs> but, but so is your requirements to work on Triple M between 12 and 2 yeah. Yeah. Saturday afternoon. It, it's just a lock. And that should take priority. I don't know how many times. You've had a look how many flights there are to Melbourne oh. to Launceston, Damien. <laughs> to Melbourne. From from Melbourne to Launceston. Yeah. There's only like one or two a day. <laughs> okay. So if you don't catch the 205 one. But work comes first, Bill. It does. Well, I'm sick of working. Hear him? Because that's all oh. I do. I work four, five days a week, and then I do I this bloody well, rub. Two hours on a radio station where you put your jokes. And, and <laughs> it's top rating radio station. And I have to come in Saturday mornings. I don't get paid. <laughs> yes, you I do. don't think I do. So I, I just have a bit of bill time. A bit bill. of bill time. Bit, yes. I, yes, I would argue that we pay you a hell of a lot more than Rombo's going to. In pots ridden long <laughs> session. So yeah. your, your commitment well, should be here. How many jumpers have you got packed? Yeah. I've got two. So <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> 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 well, I'll tell you what, he's the, best, he's the best auction here, right? I know, he is. He's very, very good. And Steve Hocking wasn't at training this week, so oh. I ducked in. Oh. <laughs> you, <laughs> hey, you know what's happened down at Geelong right now? <laughs> tell at, me, Bill. An hour ago, because the ground is a bit of a mud heap, to oh, be honest. I was there last week and it was very muddy. Yeah. A helicopter has flown in and, and is that far from the ground, a metre from the ground, and oh, drying God. the ground as we speak. Yep. There's 10,000 people turned up. 
I haven't to, seen it. To watch it. <laughs> to watch it. To watch it. To watch it. They're selling, they're selling tickets. <laughs> 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 they're, Bill. That's true. There's a Jeez. helicopter. They've, they've uh, new turf down the middle, so a lot of new turf. Very muddy. At yeah. Cadenia Park, and there's a helicopter mm. at the ground as we speak. Yeah, that just day. underscores how yeah. little there is to do in yeah. Geelong. Yeah. 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 How shut off they are to the world. Now, do we have a go at Jim now? We have to, Bill. Now, Jim, yeah. now, now just shut up for a minute because okay. fair dinkum. We all know you were born and raised in Perth, okay? Yes. You were sent to Adelaide. Because you're a turd, uh, you're a turd at school in Perth, and you got sent to Adelaide. Yes, yeah, that's I need true. To share me round, toughen no. him up a bit. No. So <laughs> the problem we get, and then of course you come over to Melbourne for a while, and probably not that's that it. well known. Not Star that well there. known, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but there. when you go back to Perth, oh, you yes. are a phenicum. You're a you're a knob, and you're a nuffy. An absolute knob and nothing. Oh, enough. Well, and, well, Bill, I witnessed this firsthand last year during the finals period. That's right. Yeah, See, so I can verify what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And not just you, the love of your life, Lisa. Oh. Wow, she's on TV last night because they flashed to the oh, Bray Shores. Oh, oh, there's was, Lisa. Was had the mirror out and putting lippy on. And oh, 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 mascara. Oh, mate, mascara. <laughs> <laughs> and they had a blue and just called Ran because oh, it was crying. Eye, eye shadow. I mean, I, I had everything possible. <laughs> had a new frock on from yeah. the oh. local hardware shop. Anyway, she thinks, from she's, the hardware <laughs> shop. she thinks she's the queen of births now oh, because hell. everyone's texting and ringing her. Oh, yeah. I can't get her to turn up to my joint, joint to help with me reno, but she's over in <laughs> Perth fucking <laughs> losing around. And then, of course, queen of, of the TV. Did I just say? Yeah, I think I you did. Yes, yeah, you did. Uh, Rosie's did. just we'll uh, uh, so yeah. then, so then, hovering over the button. <laughs> And like then, that helicopter. <laughs> and then out on the ground, what about the interview between the Bray Shorts? Oh, well, so you, you've got nah. Angus have signed a six-year deal, right? Yep. You've got Andrew, who's going to be the Brownlow favourite, and he is. So Jim sees an opening. Yeah. This is an opening for Jimmy. Oh, I saw it. Yes. To get out on the it was grass. me that saw it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know if it's called riding yeah. on the coattails or milking or bandwagon or whatever it is, but <laughs> Uncle James. Jumping on the bill. I hear Uncle James one more. Oh, I'll spew up. I've had enough. <laughs> and even you, you couldn't even play football, but you're out in the ground. Even your brother was a better footballer than you. He played football, and I'm sick of you, Jim. Bill, what, what's happened here is he's no longer the biggest Brayshaw in the family, yeah. and he's got a swan in on it, Angus and Andrew. That's and, right. And it was, I'm glad you're He's saying he's third. third. Easily third. Oh, easily. He, he might be fourth, fourth because fourth. Mark is doing something very special in the medicinal carab- car- um, cannabis, cannabis space. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> could you get it out? In the I'm, I'm on the product. <laughs> and, and so, is, so is Jim. Jim's on it at the minute. We're bouncing around. So, but, Bill, this interview last week, you interviewed Angus on the Rush Hour on Monday or Tuesday. You interviewed Andrew on no, Friday. Yeah, so, hang on. I'll tell you something. Yeah. We interviewed Angus. Beautiful. It went for 15 minutes. We had to cut it up to two segments. Yep. This is on the Wednesday night. Doesn't say boo to Uncle James about the yeah. signing. Oh, so yeah. we've got it in the can. We're going to play it the next day. It's a nice interview. I'm, I'm, oh, I've got it. It's the biggest decision of my life, yeah. Uncle James. I don't know the what to day. do, Uncle well, James. He'd already done this it. This is the night before. That, no. <laughs> Mate, oh, this Uncle James. I've got to do my due diligence, Uncle James. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the greatest interview you've ever heard. You're on the cannabis too, Bill. Yeah. Diligence. <laughs> he needs some. Anyway, <laughs> next morning we rake up because he's on the show that day. We've put it over a day. Yeah. He signs a six-year deal. Oh. Didn't mention it. Did not mention it to Uncle James. Oh. And, and I've, I can't verify this, Burn, but you, yeah. you've got connections at Melbourne. Yes. I got told by a Melbourne player at the start of this year. Now, I haven't verified it, so yeah. it, it may not be right, but I'm prepared to go with it. That, I'll get to the bottom of it. That, 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 that this player had been told by Angus that when Jim interviews him yeah. on any form of media, that he has to call him. He says, you call me. Uncle James. Oh, yeah. Now, I, and again, I reckon there's some evidence to this because yeah. I heard this during the week. I heard it last night during the pre-match interview that he had, Bill, oh, with Channel right. Seven. Uh, never condone violence, Uncle James. No. We'll never. Oncle oh, oh, James. Oh, there's something in it, Bill. I'll tell you what it is, Fat, and you can shut your fat head for a second and listen. I'll tell you what it is. It's called respect, and you could have some too every now and then. Oh. That's, that's a young man having respect for his great uncle. Both oh, of them, in fact. God. And as for uh, as for saying I'm coming third, Bernard, 
Give me a spell. <laughs> oh, I'm that far out of those two. It doesn't matter. Duck and they know it. They're, they're trailing in behind and they've just got to learn the There's mention of fourth. There's mention of fourth here. No, there's something sticks. else too. There something is something else. Something else. Yeah. Something else. <laughs> we, we, we are worried about you, Jim, because you're, you're trying to get all your friends around you. You've, you've already got the, your punter. 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 Oh, punter. Yes. I'm a great mate, punter, punter on Channel 7. Then, punter, then you've got yes. Bluey, your second oh, best mate. Oh, you got him across from Foxtel or Nine or wherever he was. And he's there. And then we hear last night, Bernie, exclusive revelation. Exclusive. He's third best, mate. JL oh, is joining him it. as well on Channel 7. <laughs> yeah, you're just bringing them all in, Jim, yeah. under the umbrella. All sit around and look yeah. at each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bernard, yes. let me just say this. Yes. The other mob over the other side were throwing millions at him. But oh, yeah. eventually loyalty counts. Bill, again, oh, yeah. you can listen up. Yes, and he Uncle stays James. with seven. He'll be magnificent <laughs> over the course of the summer. It's what's nice to have bring? him on board. What's he going to bring? Oh, what's he going to bring? He's only been in that dressing room for six years. I reckon he's going to bring some decent insight. Mm. Only <laughs> played 100 a... test matches himself. Right. I, I hope you've got a <laughs> little stepladder for him or something because you can't yeah. see him. But Phone anyway, book. now, just not on. Now, we're nearly finished with you, Jim. But <laughs> no, yeah, not yet. Something no. come across my desk. Oh, oh, no. So I'm on the my computer. Yeah. Doing oh. Memos and emails. Are you and doing your due diligence? Memos. And I'm listening to my podcast because I'm very uh, passionate dil- about that, the listener app. So I'm there. And guess what come popped up from the AFL? AFL. 2022 Brownlow invitee list, yep. demo, right? Oh. You got access to this. So I did. I don't know how, but it comes through. Actually, you sent it to me. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so it comes through. And I'm reading A's, and you know, they're all there, all the A's. A's and then <laughs> Who's got, an A? Oh, Give me an example. Uh, um, Anderson. A- Alan. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I get to B, Brad right? Brad Allen. <laughs> yeah, Brad Allen. <laughs> then I get to the B's. Yeah. So no, Brownless, of course. Yeah. But no. Brace definitely all. not. Really? Way really? sure. Really? Times two. Plus one. Oh, no, plus that'd one. be Angus. I mean, Andrew's no, no, a favourite. No, no, no. Not, <laughs> uh, it's not A, and it's not Angus, and it's not Andrew. It's Jay Brayshaw. Jay? Of course it is. Oh, oh, no, he oh, hates these. Of course these. it is. He, hates he doesn't. Doesn't. He's like the yeah. loogies. Oh, he doesn't like going no. to these things. He hates these. So <laughs> Jay Brayshaw. Times two. Times two. Or, so or plus one. Or, or, or plus one. So, yeah, right. Whichever yeah. one. Bill, you, yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't go to the brown if someone paid you, would you? But Jim it's the says, most boring night. Jim says the Logie's the worst, bo- most boring night yeah. ever and the brown yep. You give me a million bucks, I wouldn't even go. Yeah. So, Jim, why are you going yeah. to the brown oh. I get invited to everything. It's just no, a matter no, of whether no. I go or not. That's how What's your mail, Bill? Now, uh, now, opening of an envelope. Well, the other thing, the other mail is he wasn't invited because yeah. he's not the president anymore and he hasn't got that much pull in Melbourne. Yeah, okay. No, it was in Perth, he might got invited, but um, he rang. No, he's no Jim. This no. is complete. This is not Jim. Jim, by the way. You're Jim, no. He rang Gil. Oh! No! Oh! <laughs> rang Gil. Oh, Gil, old mate, I need a couple of tickets to Brownlow. Can you help me out? Oh, and, can you do that? Well, I not. I can't. No, you can't. Jim can. No, because you haven't got any player. pull. I, I can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jim, is that right? Is that no? Right? That's incorrect. And does stop making stuff up, fat guts. I'm telling you. <laughs> I guess confirmation. Fat Bill. guts. I got it. I got I'm it. going because they need some sizzle, and I oh. can see why. The, the no. thing needs to be elevated, fat. You That's the only Lisa. reason. Where's Jim, the sizzle? The Jim, plus one. Jim, you would have been to a couple of brownlows. Why? Why would you want to go? Because <laughs> Lisa wants to go. I've got to be brutally honest, I'm not that pumped about going, but every now and then you take the hit. Every now and then you take the hit. And now, across Australia, on the Triple M Network, the punters love it. It's the quiz you've been waiting for. I want the quiz, mate. We want the quiz. It's the Saturday Rub Quiz. That's the people's quiz. And here's your host, Billy Brownless. Fat, get it right. And if it's all about Geelong, I'll cut it off halfway through. Oh, no. <laughs> cut it off now, then. Uh, ring now for the quiz. One triple three five three. It's all about Joel Selwyn oh, and his 350th oh, game. Jim. They've even what got the a helicopter hell? down there for him. <laughs> Jim, come on. And Shane Edwards, who plays well, his 300th. Yeah. yeah. So a bit of uh, uh But you've Shane. dropped them questions. No, we so. haven't yet. Oh. And this is all thanks <laughs> yet. to IGA, IGA Liquor, where good food deserves a great drop. Well done. And you can find that at IGA, and we'll give away $250 <laughs> to the winner today. Let's go straight to the quiz and talk to Ethan. Hello, Ethan. Just going to the footy, Bill. What footy? Oh, Pies versus Port. 
Fair enough. I'm here now. It's a beautiful day. Ground's yeah, lovely. Are. Not for long. <laughs> yeah. Joel Selwood was drafted with what number pick back oh. in 2006, uh, Eith? That would be uh, number seven. Well done. Good start. Yeah, good start. Of course, buckling start. This should have been one or two, but uh, hurt his knee. Nah. Remember? Mm. Who went one and two? Oh, a couple of blokes. Uh, <laughs> question two. <laughs> Yeah, name one of the two players that have won the AFLPA Robert Rose Award for the most courageous player more times than Selwood, Heath. Ooh. I'll have a go with Sandy Roberts. Oh. <laughs> Good one, Heath. <laughs> we go from Ethan to Evan. Wow. Hello, Evan. <laughs> hey, just coming home from the gym. Oh, good. F45? Oh, oh. Not quite, not quite. Oh. Uh, well, name one of two. I can't think of any other gyms. Oh. Jim. Brazil. Jim, do you know any gyms, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. Name one of idiot. two players that have won the AFLPA Robert Rose Ward for the most courageous. More times than Jolie Baby. Mm, I'm going to go Lenny Hayes. No. Good, oh. good guess. Good guess. guess. Uh, Josh is there in Stan Hope. Hello, Joshy boy. I reckon he played at Good. North Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Just mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn. Good on lawn. you. <laughs> a, you got a Victor? <laughs> oh. nah, nah, I got a Matt Port. Oh, that's what Duck's nickname is. Name one of two players that won the <laughs> AFLBA <laughs> Robert Rose Award for the most courageous player more than Joel. <laughs> a good yeah, one, Bill. <laughs> He's laughing at himself. Uh, oh, Victor uh, Gary. Uh, <laughs> Josh. Oh, Bill. Uh, Glenn Archer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Glenn Archer. Boy. He won it six times, Glenn Archer. And yep. Paul Kelly's won it five. Okay. Hmm. How many did Joel win? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say. Less, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, less than that. Four. Less. Four. <laughs> Would have been nice, Will, to put that on the sheet. Maybe. Less What's than your that. quiz? Question three. <laughs> a lifeline. you got uh, Nuffy, of course. He's here. Uh, and you did say that Brayshaw will stay at Melbourne three yeah. days ago. Yeah, I did. No, you actually said I you'll said he go. should. No, you just said he'll go. No, I said he should go. Damien's here. And Duck, oh... Have they got, have they got Uncle as well? Uncle James? Uncle, no, Uncle no. James. He just no. sits there. And Uncle. No. Oh, Victor Duck. Okay, here we go, Joshy boy. Selwood is the fourth in the VFL, AFL history for playing in the most wins with 253, Duck. Mm. Which three players are ahead of him? The most wins, VFL, AFL history. Uh, I'll go. Josh? I'll go with the, I'll go with the Duck. The ducky boy. Come on, Vic. Um, oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> He's just buying time oh, to cheat. And, oh, Michael Tuck's got to be one. Oh, of course he does. Well he yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you go the seven flags, seven, yeah. the most games, you'd yeah. think. Uh, yeah. And KB, obviously, over 400 games, you'd have to be. You sure? But it's wins. It's wins. wins, not, not games. Yeah, well, yeah. well, K, but well, they won premierships, Bill. They were a successful team, so they would have been winning a lot. Uh, all right. Uh, and I reckon Burgoyne, Burgoyne would yeah. have to be Do you think Burgoyne another yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. thought of that, did you? Because you've gotten hat without Boomer. cheating. Boomer. What about Boomer? No, 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 because they went through a bad. When I left, oh. they went through oh. a bad. Oh. 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 He's pretty so, happy with that, dude. Yeah, I reckon those three. Those three. <laughs> yeah. Who were they again, just yeah. as a matter of interest? So KB, Tuck, and <laughs> Burgoyne. Ah. He nearly forgot. He nearly forgot. He nearly forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I like Josh. how he starts with it. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. Those three. <laughs> Josh? Yeah, I'll go with the duck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 302 wins, Michael Tuck. Not bad, is it? Burgoyne when I left, they went through a bad oh, time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and forgot what he'd been told. He could remember. <laughs> Question four, Joshy boy. Selwood won both the Rising Star Award and a premiership in 2007. Good year, that. Who is the only other player in history to do so? Hmm. Oh, last rising. year, Luke, Luke Jackson. Oh, oh. Right. all right, Josh. Well, oh, bang, good work. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> Number five now, Lifeline. That was a good question. That was a good question. So, yeah. Dark, who tripped over one day and <laughs> knocked himself out, you're out. <laughs> More than one day, I think. Uh, who are Joel Selwood's three brothers? He's three brothers. There's four boys. Who are the three brothers? You yes, got I know Damien this. and you've got Nuffy Nuffy. Yeah. And you won't have to cheat either, will you? No, nah, I'm not cheating. He hasn't nominated Josh. Yet, or you can yeah, go with it because I know it too. Josh. Yeah. Uh, go, go with the purple. Oh, purple. Adam, Troy, Scott. Josh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. 
Well done. Troy Adam Scotty. Selwood have got that. Yeah. Probably won't get the next no, one. Well done. Selwood <laughs> finished second in the 2009 Norm Smith medal voting. Behind whom? In 2011, the Norm Smith. Joel was second. Who? Did he say that? 2011. He said nine, nine the first time. So, what, what, which one? <laughs> which 2011. <laughs> listen well, up. Well, they're different premierships, oh, Bill. Listen God. up. I said 2011. Oh, oh, I think you did. The first time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Shut like, up, Josh. What would you say? Yes. He got, right. got it right. He got it right, yeah. Questions? <laughs> he double dinged him. Selwood became the game record holder at Geelong after overtaking which player, Joshy boy? Uh, Enright. Oh, oh, well done. Geez. Bill, well done. I love Joel Selwood as much as the next man, yeah. but I've had enough of questions yeah. about him, so come up with something else. One more, one more on him, and then we're going to uh, Shane Edwards, who's a fine player. It's so a lifeline. All of 239 games for Selwood as captain has been with Chris Scott as coach. That's a good stat. The most shared by a captain and coach in VFL, AFL history. Name two of the other captain-coach combinations in the top five. In the top five, two combinations, and you've only got Bernie. Well, uh, Doc's putting well, his hand up. Hang on. Oh, he's uh, having a giggle. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with Bernie then. Bernie. Well, so. du- Doc's putting his hand up, so I'm going to have to go Duck and Who? Coach was Pagan. Yeah. Well, yeah. well we <laughs> might be. Um, <laughs> Brisbane. Don't help him, Will. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll think of this. No, you don't. You just, Who's you've, had, the... you've had Will in the ears. So, Joel Selwood, ah, 239. Yeah. What about Voss and Matthews? <laughs> Could be. I'm not sure. Joshy, what do you think? Do you remove wins if you're a co captain? Um, oh yeah. Uh, Does that count? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with I'll go with the first one, Duck. And then All I'll right. go oh, Duck no. and Pay again. And yeah. then I'll go sorry, what did you say, Burn? What did you say? I went Lee Matthews, Michael Voss. Um I'm not go with no, co captain. Kernahan and Parkin. Oh, Oh, no! Oh, oh. Josh, you win. Oh. I can only serve oh, it up. I yeah. can't make him eat it. Let's talk to Frank. Here's Frank. Hello, Frank. I just, just got back from Bunnings, old shake. Frank, Frank what did you buy? Old shake. What did you buy, Frankie, today? Uh, just a couple of cans of striped paint. <laughs> <laughs> what Stri- 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 <laughs> And a uh, That would be a Koch, Koch and Hardwick. <laughs> and and uh, Solarium Duck and Pagan. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hardwick, Cochin, Pagan, Carey, Lee Matthews, Voss, you were yeah, right. Yeah, well, old enough. There. Well, and Disney. Nathan Buckley and Pendlebury were the others there. Oh, nice. Here we go. Two questions about the great Shane Edwards. Here we go, uh, Frankie boy. Who are the only two Indigenous players to have won more premierships than Shane Edwards? Two Indigenous. So Edwards is... Shane won uh, three. Lee. Shane's won three. Sean, These, hmm? Sean Burgoyne. Mm-hmm. And... Quick. Uh, Michael Long. No. Sorry, he's got one right there. We go to Ed. Hello, Ed. Good. Oh, no. gone. <laughs> what about Chris? I think it was quick. Chris. Hello, Chris. How are you? It's meant to be Chris. Just cooking noodles, Bill. Noodles? <laughs> two minute or? Yes, B- two, Oh, it's one. Two minutes. <laughs> one, Bill. BN Air Babies, just one. Uh, <laughs> name the two Indigenous players who have played more premierships than Shane Edwards, uh, Chris. Yeah, not sure. I'll go with Burgoyne and Cyril Rioli. Yeah, oh, well done. Here we go, Jim. It's been a great quiz. Everyone's loved it today. I'm Question just looking 10. at the, the Zoom screen here, and I'm wondering when those shakes are going to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> He's filling up guts. a lot of the screen. You, you could fair dinkum show a movie in <laughs> wide screen on that guts of yours. Uh, question 10. Here we go. I'm not listening to that. IGA, thank you very much. Which teammate of Sean Off Edwards of has played the most games? Sean Edwards. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tim. Nice. Close this down. Shane Edwards. Jim. <laughs> don't even know his Sean name. Edwards. Sean Edwards. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> this is a superstar we're talking about here. Oh, can't Sean. even get his name right. <laughs> I can't. Did you try and do that? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which teammate of Shane Edwards yeah. <laughs> has played the most games alongside him there, Chris? 
Uh, team, mate. It's a tough one. Yeah. Well, it's number 10. It's for the prize, $250 IGA. Uh, I'm going to say Jack Rewalt. Oh. 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 No! Oh, 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 <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Love it. No, well Love done. It. Well done. Well done $250 to Chris from Point. voucher. That's it, you'll, Jim. You'll and, of course, if you're going to go to IGA, you go there where the good food deserves a great drop. <laughs> 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 this Thanks, needs Bill. to go. <laughs> good. good up, Bluey, we haven't heard from Bluey for a while. No, he's I gone wonder, to ground. I wonder if he might be in today or not. <laughs> good, we'll, uh, good. Yeah, we'll just see. Hey, I want to start with a former teammate of mine. And as we heard in the opener, we've had Embers have a meltdown. Brownie's had a number of meltdowns. We've seen Bluey. My ex-teammate, Jordan Lewis. Now, he just completely capitulated on the footy call last week. Maybe that's his technique, even when he is 50 metres out, but I could have could have, it a bit, could have given it a bit more. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's <laughs> right up there. That's right oh, no. Up there. I thought I'd start with a zinger. How'd he come on? Yeah, well, I don't even know what he meant. I think he's, I don't, don't actually know where he's trying we, to go with that. Let's listen to that again. Yeah, do you yep. want to go again? Oh, yeah, okay, yep. let's go. Maybe that's his technique, even when he is 50 metres out, but <laughs> I could, give, could have gifted a bit, could have given it a bit more. <laughs> no. What is, oh, is he trying to say? Trying to give it a bit more. <laughs> he's completely lost there. Oh, 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 I hope he's no. not listening because he can filth up. He does. He oh, can really very filth much. up. And I'm, let's maybe just put my phone on silent. Make sure it's on silent because it won't be too long. Hey, uh, now on to Brownie, who I just mentioned. Um, a duck uh, talking about throwing glass bricks. Well, he just got a bit mixed up with break and brick and whether he's going on holiday or building a house. Collingwood taking on Essendon from the MCG. Choice Hotels around the ground. Need a brick. Book direct and save with choice. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I think What's he's trying funny? to say break. <laughs> need a break. <laughs> need a break. Book through choice hotels and not need a brick. <laughs> We're not going to oh, no. build a house. But anyway, and then he continued on in the same game. Well, you listen. He's taken the game by the struck of the neck in this corner. <laughs> the the neck. Open the scruff. <laughs> Oh, when Duck's picking you up, you're in trouble. <laughs> yep. Doesn't Duck just dine out on him <laughs> making a mistake yep. with him? He does. He loves it. <laughs> uh, well, Duck, now I've well, seen I've mentioned you. Um, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, either laugh or explain something. <laughs> it's got to be hard. Hard and low at that right post. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Actually, what were you trying to do? <laughs> I don't know. What I, want. I, I want to hear that one again. Yeah, yeah. let's go again. It's got to be hard. <laughs> and he goes up in tempo too. <laughs> I got out of his seat. Uh, he, uh, and now on to our man Ash. He's becoming a regular here. Um, this time for just completely making up stats. Gee, 4 1 from defensive mid the pies. That's a big number, too. What would a game average be? Yeah, game average uh, for us oh, for about 10 points up. thereabouts, if that. Ten points. Yeah, I made that up, but Mason Cox makes a here. huge climb, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Ross seems real happy with that. Oh, yep. I reckon the point we knew where he's making it up when he goes, oh, thereabouts, if that, uh, I'll get back to you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, go, need to go to a, your mate, Jim, uh, Ditmar. We need to yes. go to Adelaide. Now, he's a Come Port on. Nuff, grew up in Alberton, and uh, right next to Alberton and Oval, and uh, yep. loves Port Adelaide. Well, he got his grounds mixed up last week. <laughs> Georgiades from the goal square makes no mistake. Port Adelaide, what a start at the Albert and Oval. The Albert and Oval, the Adelaide Oval. <laughs> We're getting carried away. It's a big start. <laughs> He's gone with their training base, Albert and Oval. Come on. Uh, let's go on to Ross. And, uh, well, last week, uh, they need a bit of preparation, I think, last Sunday, Duck. You were there uh, for a segment called Hitch the Caravan. And, uh, well, I don't think Ross had done his preparation. <laughs> and just listen for the. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Jay Z yeah. also uh, reminded everybody to come with something yeah. for his brand new segment, Hitch Your Caravan. Oh. He even got the producer mm. to send us a reminder this morning to make sure we come yeah. fully loaded Try. for Hitch Your Caravan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Seems really up and about for it. Did you hear oh, no. it? He's like, oh, no. <laughs> 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 
Forget yeah. about it every week. No. No. We the there it is. Every week. Every week. He can. No. <laughs> must be a good segment, Duck. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, Ross is really pumped about that one. Now, we all spoke about it and we had a bit of fun with the, the memo that went out, the email. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, Ross just got caught up in the moment again. But to his credit, he apologised. <laughs> Here comes a big banger from 60, and then he just sets it up very disappointingly to the top of the square. Oh! <laughs> to mark the Collingwood. I think it's Lipinski, is it? Johnson. Johnson. Johnson's kicked two already. This yeah. is for number three, and all of a sudden, it's a six goal lead. Well, I, I apologise for the awe, but our commentary is <laughs> <laughs> no, That's all right. That added to the commentary that time, Ross. That's fine. <laughs> So, I apologise about that awe. Oh. <laughs> well, you've been awing a lot, actually, uh, in other segments. Uh, uh, <laughs> there it is again. Hey, speaking of that memo, it was completely thrown out the window here because it was a, well, it was a, st- it was a showdown. It was Duck v Brownie, and there was about 14 different conversations going on here at the one time. You listen. Does every Steve club King- have a designated ruck coach? Mm. I don't think Collingwood do. They used to. Greg Stafford has done the job at Melbourne for he's a long time a now. Forward. No, he's a forward. Well, that's the soft cap kicking in. I think he's Eddie Maguire cap. talks I mean, about he it. He still does some ruck he's work. He's forward coach. But he does some ruck work with it. No, yeah. he's forward So he doesn't do any ruck work no, at all. He's forward coach. Right. So who does the ruck work? Rocker. Know. Was Rocker, but I'm not sure he's... We're talking about Melbourne. Melbourne, sorry. <laughs> Um, and you had Aaron Sanderland, and he and he's he's, he's, the, ruck he's coach. the forwards coach. He's the ruck coach of Frio. And how did you rate his and service to <laughs> Aaron? Oh, you want your show you to? Good <laughs> <laughs> Ross at the end. Oh. You want your own show you to? What was any of that? Oh, what, actually, what was it about? I couldn't understand. <laughs> I'm listening to it from Perth. I'm like, I don't get any of that conversation. Brownie, Brownie wouldn't give up. He yeah. just kept saying that uh, Greg Stafford was the ruck coach at Melbourne. And I kept saying, he's forwards coach. He's the forwards coach. Yeah. And Brownie kept saying, no, he's the ruck coach. <laughs> no, he's saying, he does a bit of ruck work. Like, no, and then Rocker forward. came into the conversation. <laughs> Someone, he's at North. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? He's at Collingwood. I don't know what was going oh. on. But it's, speaking of speaking over, I think there's four people talking at once there at one stage. Yep. Hey, uh, let's to get himself. on to Joey. Joey, yeah, to themselves. Different conversations. Hey, Joey Montagna, he's the ultimate pro, very good at most things. Well, I found one thing he's not. Not good at, and that is mathematics. They will keep coming, and they're back within eight points. They're 10-7. It's 12, eight points. 12 points. What is it? 11-7, 60. No. <laughs> eight points. Eight <laughs> points of margin. 10-7, 67. The Bombers, 11-9, 75. It's up on that big screen, though, if you want to know. Who's winning the... the the pile on after out of Duck and Ross. Ross, anyway, Ross, 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 <laughs> Ross. Duck loves it too. Yeah. He can't wait for someone to make a mistake. And now Bill's gone. And as you said, Jim, it's been a big yep. week for him. And, uh, week. Just an ordinary week for him. Uh, well, Ash, Ash, he tried to go back to when Ash called Scott Pendlebury sconed. And, <laughs> yep. well, here it is. Got one of their prime movers. Actually, got Scott Pendlebury in the rooms with me. <laughs> so he wanted to go back to Still that one of my favorites. when he's talking about it and go, you know, well, he tried to reenact that, but, well, he had his own version of what Ash said. 200 as captain, Scott Pendlebury. Well done, Snot. Scott. <laughs> Scott, sorry. Yeah. 200 as captain. Snot. Snot Pendlebury. Snot Pendlebury. Snot Pendlebury. Yeah. He's trying to be a smart Alec, and he's gone with snot. And when it was gone, uh, but then he had uh, some real issues with. Um, well, I think he's trying to get osteoporosis out. Oh my god! What do you get when your bones no, get a bit bristle? What's that called? A bit, what? a bit bristle. Bristle. Yeah, when you don't drink enough milk and stuff. What's that called? What do you think? I don't know. Osteo. Osteopubis. That's it. I'm not <laughs> Oh, no, he's no, so no. good. That's you, it. Yep, that's the one. And your bones get bristle. Bristol. Bristol. <laughs> Bristol. <laughs> How about brittle, Bill? <laughs> It's just all sorted in there. Milk. And then I had to actually cut a lot of bills because we could only talk about that man for so long. So I had to move on. But, geez, it was a funny week for him. Uh, yeah, now, Rocky in Adelaide. Well, he's, oh, had, a again. Few, he's had a few. Oh, he's no. becoming a regular too, but don't worry. Well, he's trying to read these names out. And, he's well, he should probably actually read what he's about to read because life is just not a good thing for him. Uh, Winnington, Titmus, Hodge and Stublitly Cook. 
Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I won the, the mixed 4x100 freestyle free relay. <laughs> so I think he eventually went with Stubber Littley Lee Cook. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hard one, though. It is. It is. Uh, now, I mentioned Bluey off the top, and uh, I've just managed to find something that happened during the week. And, yes, you are right, Jim. It is a live read, and he oh, butchers no. it. Well, he, the noise just comes out again. I don't know what happens with him. No. You, you, you be the judge. He's your man. Proudly brought to you by the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. By the way, he was just meant to say proudly brought to you by McDonald's, by the way. Let's have another listen. No. And does he get anywhere near McDonald's? Proudly brought to you by the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think he had Mick in it. Mick... <laughs> There might have been a Mick. I'll give him the Mick bit, but I, I didn't get the Donalds. <laughs> How do you buff that up? Just lost it. How do you buff oh, I don't know. The pressure gets to him. And, uh, yeah, when the lights come on, his lights go off, oh, as Charles oh says. Uh, but enough of the week. Hit it, host. Enough of the week. Now, we don't get too many opportunities at this, man, but when they arise and come across my desk, we need to go hard at them, and it's the man to my right, <laughs> Damien Barrett. Here now, we he's go. He's had a bit of a tough week, Damo, <laughs> and he's becoming slightly regular in this, and I love it. Let's listen. Days, I've seen you thread goals at the MCG off balance with your left foot from 45 out. Oh, yeah. I've just seen you try and put onto your head a set of headphones <laughs> yes. in a way that was the most uncoordinated. Uncoordinated. Oh! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> uncoordinated with four O's. Yeah, uncoordinated. It was an uncoordinated way of saying uncoordinated. Let's you hear it again. find a way of making simple things uncoordinated. Let's hear it again. Let's listen again. Yes. Uncoordinated. <laughs> 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 oh, we'd love that and that's enough of the week for this See, week. See, Purple, I this yep. is I'm being very serious when I say this. I blame Bill. <laughs> <laughs> because, because Bill's inability to speak infiltrates yeah. all of us. It and in, in the end, you lose your own confidence in the words that you're saying being correct. You yep. start second guessing yourself about the way you pronounce things. It's yep. his fault. Yep. Yeah, well, you he, work with him every day, Jim, and you're okay. He yeah. has brought you down. <laughs>